what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be testing out and trying out some new products I recently purchased and received in my Ipsy bag so yeah keep on watching all right first thing I'm gonna do is put some moisturizer on my face I received this in my Ipsy plus bag this is the moisturizer the moisturizer it's for hydration fine lines prevention perfect for under makeup for normal dry and sensitive skin I have a sensitive skin my skin is a little bit oily but I do really enjoy this moisturizer I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my face next thing that I'm gonna be using is this um, milk hydro grip primer I received this from Influencer for uh, testing purposes. I tried it a couple times before filming this video, and so far, like, it's really good. It keeps your skin nice and, like, dewy and, like, moisturized throughout the day. And a little bit more about the product. It, I believe it has a um, cannabis extract in it, which is pretty cool. I love milk makeup, so I was pretty excited when I received this. I heard a lot of great things about it, and let me tell you, they're true. This primer is amazing. It's, I'm usually not really into primers. I try to go for more of, like, moisturizers and, you know, shit like that. But this, so good. I totally recommend this. Sorry if I seem a little bit off. It's just I haven't filmed and like literally like over a month since we moved into our new apartment since you guys can tell the new setup and all that so yeah i finally got everything organized figure out my like filming station and all that stuff so hopefully from now on i can start filming more videos for you guys all right since we have the primer on now i'm gonna go in with the new somewhat new morphe foundation This foundation got a lot of shit when it first came out. And to be honest, I, I personally like it. Like, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it for um, if you have very dry skin or like even slightly dry skin. Because it's really like matte and it will dry you. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my face. Oh yeah, also the shade of it is F1.5. Five. There you go. And I'm just gonna blend that all over. The key for um, matte foundations is to put a lot of moisturizer and like hydrating primers underneath so you don't look so cakey and like dry as a desert when you put them on. Like, even though I have oily skin, I still tend to do that just to keep it, you know, from getting nasty. Sorry if I keep looking down, I have my ear right here. I still need to, like, perfect my, um, filming setup, but for now, this will do. I'm gonna try to blend everything. This foundation has really nice coverage. It's very full coverage, if you guys can see. And definitely matte. It does, like, accentuate your, um dry patches and if you have texture on your skin so maybe like if you have textured skin I wouldn't totally recommend this I love how this foundation like matches my body but it doesn't match my face because <laughs> my face is so much like it gets so like red and like patchy but then like my skin right here it, it, it like matches it perfectly I don't I don't understand <laughs> Alright, I need to stop blabbering and actually, like, start blending the shit in. <laughs> also, you guys should let me know down below in the comments section uh, what videos you guys want me to film. I do want to do, um, what's in my bag. Like, the old school YouTube videos. I feel, I feel like no one really does them anymore. But if you guys are not interested in seeing them, then I'm probably not going to film them. So, just let me know. 
blending this shit in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm so weird. I honestly realized that, like, I used to be so, like, terrified when filming that I have to, like, be, you know, perfect and do everything right like every other YouTuber. But, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I just want to be myself. Say whatever I want. You know, it's my channel. And if no one wants to watch it, then don't watch it, you know. I'm doing this for fun. It's my hobby. I love doing makeup. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, for the concealer, I also got the Morphe concealer. It's right here. In shade C1.5 to match the foundation. And I got this concealer all over my leg. Oops. Alright, well, we're going to put some underneath our eyes. It's really nice and like thick concealer, so it gives you a lot of coverage. Mm -mm. I tend to go overboard with my concealers. I don't know why I've been breaking out so much all over my chin. I think it's, it's like hormonal acne, it just sucks. Hate those. Blow about my nose. And now we're just gonna blend. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, this concealer has a really nice consistency. It's not completely like the face tape shape concealer. Or whatever the fucking name is it, the tart one that everyone's like obsessed with. I actually went through like three bottles of that. It's one of my favorite ones. But it's just so expensive! And your girl's broke. There's only so much makeup I can buy, you know. I got bills. I can't be spending my whole paycheck on makeup. Even though I located it, but it's okay. Alright, now we're all blended in. I'm going to go in with the Dandelion Shy Beam Benefit Highlight. It's not really, I mean, it is a highlight, but it's it has it's, it's really pink. So I don't know. I haven't figured that one out yet. You guys see it? It's like... It's pink, so it's not really like a highlight. It's almost like a blush. So that's what I've been kind of doing. Just putting it as a highlight, but mostly just like rubbing it in. It looks really nice once I put that highlight over it. So let me just take my finger and we're just gonna dot it over here. And just kind of try to blend it in by just tapping your fingers. I don't like to use brush since it tends to look um, very like patchy and it like takes off the foundation. It just looks a little bit more natural if I just use my finger and just dab it in all over the cheeks right here. It gives it like really nice like glowy shine. It's not really like highlight but in a way it is. See? I'm gonna put a little bit on this cheek and just blend it in. It kind of has like a pink glow, but it's not really like a full on like highlight moment. It does look really beautiful once I like layer the highlight over, like a powder highlight over. Pull up on my cupid bow. Blend that in. Pull up on my nose. Give me a all nice shiny highlight. Here. Mm, look at that glow. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Now I'm gonna go in the Makeup Revolution Lux Luxury Baking Powder. I had this in my makeup drawer for literally like maybe a year now, and I believe I only tried it once, and I didn't really like it. I'm gonna give it another go and see if I actually like it. So let me. Take a sip of my coat. This is fucking amazing, guys. Like, I usually don't like drinking soda 
except Mountain Dew or like Mellow Yellow, but that's every once in a while. But I've been obsessed with Diet Coke, but it's one of these, the strawberry one. They also have, a, I really like the mango one, and I do want to try the blueberry one. And it's zero calories, there's no carbs, no sugar, only 35 milligrams of sodium, which is like nothing. And it's so good. Mm. Totally recommend, guys. Alright. Let's go back to using the powder. I'm going to be using the Morphe brush. I have no idea what, what the, like, the number for this brush. It, it just literally says Morphe on it. I don't know what the fuck I was doing this. It just says Morphe on it. I had it for mm, almost two years now, and I've been using it, like, every single day for uh, my powder. So, I put it in this little container since I, I forgot to show you guys. The way you open it, it has a little like a container like that and I just pour it into the another container that I have from a different like setting powder and I just kind of like dab my brush in like this oopsie doopsie alright now we're gonna go set our face and oh boy that's white alright cool now there's powder all over Oh boy, it's a very powdery powder. Oh god, it's like giving me a white cast. Like I have a beard. That's probably why I didn't wear it. Maybe it was too light for me. Even though, yeah, girl, it's pale as shit anyway. Alright, let me just put some underneath my eyes. Actually, it's not that bad. Actually, they look really nice. Once you like, you gotta like blend that shit in. Put it on my lids, under my eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Let me see if the highlight's still on there. Eh. Tiny bit. Nothing crazy. I tried to avoid that area, but it's still kind of. I don't know why I can't even see it anymore. Yeah, the powder's not, not bad. Still probably not my favorite. And it's messy as shit. Like, I wish I could show you guys, but there's literally powder all over my table. And my husband's gonna kill me, but... Shh. No, it's okay. I'm just gonna have to clean it up before he gets home from work. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I guess... Excuse my eyebrows, they look like poop. Let me blend this down on my neck. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's not bad. I look dry though. Which is not a bad thing because my skin gets oily and it, I usually, this is how I know foundation is good. I usually do like six hour shifts at work. So I do my makeup two hours before I go to work or something like that. And then I can test it out for eight hours while I'm at work. Two hours like prior when I'm doing my makeup and all that. And then the six hour shift that I do to see how long the foundation lasts. So if it looks good at the end of the night of me like running around, serving tables and all my BS, sweating my ass off. That's how you know foundation is good. One of my favorites is actually this foundation. Let me show you guys. It's this foundation. It's the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This thing, oh my god. I swear by this. It's so good. Especially if you have, like, oily skin. It's a lifesaver. And if you're trying to, like, have a good foundation that's gonna last, like, throughout the day and not make you look like shit, go buy that. They have it at Walmart, Walgreens, any, like, CVS. They even have it at Ulta, so. It's a little bit cheaper at Walmart than Ulta. Because for some reason, everything that's drugstore at Ulta is always like 2 $3 more expensive for no fucking reason. But, whatever. Alright, I guess we're blended in. <sighs> Alright, now I'm going to go quickly do my brows of the camera. And I will be right back. 
I am back with my brows on. What I used is the Rimmel London uh, Brow Pencil and Hazel. And then Eyebrow Defining Gel by Chila. It's a clear one. This is the gel. And then these little tiny brow pencils that I used up because I wear it every single day. Because I'm very picky with brow pencils. <laughs> For the eyes, um... We're going to be using the Huda Beauty uh, Obsessions Palette. It's the palette. Uh, let me show you the colors. It has a nice little mini mirror. It's really travel friendly. And these are the colors. And then I'm also going to be using uh, the Farrah brow set that I received in my Ipsy Back Plus. And I also received this in the Ipsy Back Plus. So, really good deal. These are the brushes. We get five different ones. Yeah, five different brushes. So, yeah. Let me put a little bit of setting powder underneath my eyes. Just in case there's any fallout. I did swatch the palette and try to play around with it. But, yeah. We'll see what's going to happen today. A little bit of setting powder underneath. And, yeah. I guess I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to take this small brush, swirl that in, and I'm going to get rid of the fallout. I'm going to be using the mirror in this palette, so I'm going to go into the crease right here for you guys and try to just kind of pack that in and then we'll blend it. Hmm. There's no fallout so far. Let me tap my brush off. And just try to pack it in. Hmm. So far it doesn't look bad. Let me go back in and just pack the color into the outer corner of the eye where the crease is right here. We're not blending right now, just kind of just packing that color in. <sighs> All right, now I'm going to take this bigger brush right here and just kind of try to take this pinky color right here. Just kind of put it on top of that and just blend it in. Just the tiniest bit to just kind of add a little pink color to it. Get rid of the excess color and just kind of try to blend it out. I'm going for more of a natural look. Well, not really natural, but something just simple. So this video is not like three hours long. <laughs> and just blend it. And I'll slowly try to drag this in the inner corner of the eye. And just blend everything. You just gotta blend until you can't feel your arm, guys. Hmm, there's no fallout so far, which is good. I'm not doing any like cut crease or anything today. Just keeping it nice and simple. I'm gonna go back in with that middle shade right here. Just a tiny bit on this brush again. Pack that in and try to just blend it in. really pretty so far. What do you guys think? I'm going to try to blend that out again. Hmm. That actually looks really pretty. Let me take uh, this shade right here, I guess. It's a really pretty color. This shade. And just kind of layer that on top of that inner corner. I mean, outer corner. 
just the tiniest bit, if you guys can tell. Just a little bit. Get rid of the fallout dab in. Make it pop in there. Hmm. So far, this palette is not bad. Hmm. Now we're going to take this clean brush again, just try to blend those colors in. Okay, see? Alright, now I'm going to take this brush right here. It's a little bit more of a fluffy flat brush. Yeah, it's a short shading. Short shading brush in six. I'm gonna grab this color right here. This color right here. And then I, I learned this technique using like more of a fluffier brush to apply shimmer. It gives you a little bit more of like an airbrush effect. There's a lot of like fallout. And this shimmer. Ooh, that's cute. I'm just gonna try to just brush that in. Ooh, that looks pretty. Let me use my finger to see it. If it'll look a little different. Oh boy, that's even more vibrant. I put that all over my lid. That looks pretty. I like that. Let me go into this shade right here. Right here. Oh, oh. Right here. Try to play around with that shade. And put that on top. Hmm. That looks really pretty. Let me do a little close up for you guys. All right. Now I'm going to go off the camera, quickly finish this eye, pop some lashes. Actually, no. I'm going to go off the camera, finish this other eye, come back. We'll try out the new mascaras that I got. One's the Pixie by Petra, and then the other one is the Unlimited Mascara from L'Oreal. So, be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done with the both of the eyes. Now I'm going to try out the two new mascaras that I received. Well, I received this one in my Ipsy Bag Plus, which is the Pixie by Petra. This is the mascara. It's the Beyond Black. And it has two different spoolies. This is one of them. This is probably good for the lower lash line. And then you open the bottom, and it has a little thicker wand and spoolie. See? And then I bought a new mascara from L'Oreal. It's the Unlimited Mascara. This is the mascara then. It has a weird shape, but when you open it, this is the spoolie. And then it has, you can like bend it. Like if when you guys are, you see this? When you're doing your mascara, like you can adjust like the angle of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this eye with this mascara and then this eye with this mascara. I'm going to use the thicker wand and then the smaller one on the bottom. Let me just use this Obsessions palette as a low mirror. Alright. So far it has a pretty nice color. Hmm. 
It's not a super like thing, but it's not it's not bad. I believe uh, this mascara is eighteen dollars, which is a little bit pricey since it's a drugstore mascara. So, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. This is just with the one like simple layer. It's pretty cool, like a concept that you have two different like wands. But I don't think I would personally like go out on my way and spend like that much money on it. Like if it was a little bit cheaper, then I absolutely probably would. I just think the price for it is a little, a little bit too much. With this mascara now. I don't really I think I'm gonna like bend it, try to see how that works, so let's do this. This is definitely dark. And it's giving me a nice volume. Oh oh wow. Hmm. It's definitely a little bit more thicker than the pixie mascara oh wow these lashes look good <laughs> it's definitely giving me a nice volume and length as well If you guys see the comparison. Hmm. This eye is definitely better with the lashes. They're more um just popped. Oh wow. I really like this one a lot actually. <laughs> Alright, I guess um now I'm gonna pop some false lashes on. I'm gonna be using these that I received in my Ipsy Bag Plus. I already tried them on and I cut them. These are the Red Cherry Eyelashes 100% Human Hair Wispies. I already took them out, but this is the packaging. They are uh, soft natural gaze to intense drama. High quality lashes, very flexible, easy to apply, yet strong enough to resue. Resue? That's a weird word. But yeah, um, these are the little lashes so I'm gonna go quickly put them on and show you guys how they look all right these are the lashes they're really natural and beautiful I'm like obsessed with these I look like a princess <laughs> just kidding but yeah now for the bronzer I'm gonna be using the Hoola Benefit bronzer it's my favorite so I'm just going to just quickly bronze myself up with my uh, e.l.f. brush. There's no number for it. I'm just going to do a quick bronze up. Alright, now that I'm all bronzed up, I want to try out the... I had this for a while. I just... When I received it in my Ipsy bag, it... I broke it, so it, like, got all shattered, but it's the Seraphine Botanical Ginger Gold Illuminating Peach Gold Blush. This is the packaging. I believe it has a shimmer in it. It's a blush with a shimmer. So I feel like it will go really nicely with this look. Ooh, it's broken. You see? I'm going to use the same brush I used for uh, my bronzing. I'm going to just tap that in. A little bit rid of the fallout and put that all over my cheeks. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely what I want it. It's adding a little glow. But it's not too harsh. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. That's really pretty. 
It has a nice, like, little glow to it. I like that a lot. And I usually tend not to go for uh, illuminating blushes since they, uh, I have a little bit of texture on my cheeks. But this is cute. I feel like it goes really well with this makeup look. So it's a little bit, like, pinky. This blush is a little peachy. A little bit on my nose, my chin. I love blush. I just feel like it makes your skin look so much healthier and glowy and just beautiful. A little bit on my forehead. Aww. That looks cute. And then I have two highlights. Uh, I'm going to try to use this Ofra highlight that I received in one of my Ipsy bags. Um, there's no... There's no... The, like a name for the color of this so let me just take it out of the packaging for you guys take it out of the thing I think it might be a little too dark this is the highlight I'm gonna try it and if it's too dark I'm just gonna go over with a different highlighter I'm gonna be using the M510 Morphe brush for highlighting it's one of my favorite brushes to highlight with yeah this might be a little too dark for me I heard Ofra brushes are amazing. Oh, I can't really see it. Oh, it's giving me a little nice glow. It might be a little too dark. Let me see. Cupid's bow. Oh, actually, it actually looks kind of cute. All about my nose. Yeah, it's a little bit too dark for my nose. But damn, that glow though. It's all too dark. I'm gonna have to go over with a different highlight. Let me put a little bit on my cheek. Forehead. So we just look so glowy and healthy. That nose highlight though, guys. You see that? Oh man. This would be perfect. It was like a tiny bit lighter. It looks beautiful though. It has like almost like a purpley tone to it which like I said ooh look at that highlight mm 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 looking cute alright I'm gonna put a different highlighter over top of that just to make it look a bit more extra and not so dark especially on my nose I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia glow kit and I'm going to go into the, the shade right here. Take the same brush, and I'm just going to go on my nose a little bit. So. Let me get, use a little bit of my powder. Let's get rid of that dark shadow thing. Alright. And then let me put a little bit on my cheeks. Oh, yeah. That looks a little bit better. Mm. That looks so glovey. Right here. Oh boy, that highlight. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to take a little small pencil brush and put a little bit of that uh, Ofra highlight into my inner corner. So just kind of give a little nice oomph. That looks pretty. And then I'm going to use the pink one from the Anastasia Glow Kit Palette on my brow bone right here. To just kind of highlight and blend everything in. Where are you going for a really pink and glowy look? This would be perfect for a, like, Valentine's Day look. Alright, I guess that's for the face. Now I'm going to try out the... Superstay Matte Ink uh, Lipstick by Maybelline. I tried a few different shades. This is just a new shade that I'm really interested in trying. So, this is the little applicator. And then let me just swatch the color for you guys. This is the color. So, let me just put that on my lips. Yeah, this was definitely going to go with this look. 
My lips are really dry. This is a really good formula of a lipstick because it stays on. Like, you can literally eat, drink, do other shit, and it, it will not smear off. <laughs> show you guys the finished look all right guys this is the finished look it's very glowy pink I love it and so far it was pretty much I loved everything minus you know this mascara it was okay I, I liked it except like the I didn't like the big spoolie in it, but with everything else, perfect. Like, this month's Ipsy bag was amazing. All the other products I purchased were good. The powder was, eh, not my favorite, but it, it will still do. And then I really like this. I'm, this is my favorite, like, primer from now on. The foundation is good. Just don't recommend it for super dry skin or dry skin. This moisturizer, amazing for sensitive dry skin to normal skin. This palette is pretty good. A little expensive for the size. I believe it's like $26, but hey, it's Huda Beauty, so. This lipstick, totally recommend. The formula is amazing, so. The lashes, amazing. Like, you guys can see this. Like, they look so, like, natural or natural. <laughs> I can't talk today. They look so natural, and yeah. I guess this is everything for uh, today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at simi underscore violet, and same as my Twitter. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.